The first thing that we're going to want to do on our inverter install is look at our um, our power system and see if we have a converter that we can turn off. When you run the inverter, like we're going to do for now, we're going to run a shore power cord from the inverter over to our shore power system. So basically it's just a big loop and if our charge converter is on in here, then what's going to happen is basically we're going to be trying to charge the battery so it's going to waste waste more power and charge itself and it will eventually die a quicker death. So we're going to want to open this up and make sure that uh, we're able to um, disconnect power to our charge converter. So first thing you want to do is make sure you have no power and we're not even plugged in but you can use a non-contact um, we like these obviously this is a 12 volt system our 12 volt is on so this is live up here but then down here it should be off because we're not plugged in but you can also use a multimeter uh, to get the most accurate reading just so you don't have any surprises so let's go ahead and take our front panel off it's fairly easy it's actually uh, seems decent okay so here we've got our DC system and then we've got our AC system and like I said this should all be off but just for safety sake we want to check it okay we've got our ground neutral and our line voltage so uh, this is our charge converter charger that we do not want to have on um, so what we're going to do is locate where this is po the power is fed from and it looks like it's this se second breaker which is labeled general so something else is being powered by this too so instead of going through and deciding what this is powered off of we're actually going to just add another breaker in this blank spot so I purchased another breaker so let's make sure that it fits. So it's got a little hook on the bottom and then it just presses upwards. Perfect, fits well. So these are standard breakers that you can find at um, Home Depot. Um, these are Square D brand, so we'll Just for kicks, I wanna measure the voltage on our DC system. So we're pulling about 13.6 volts. Okay, actually putting the breaker in is pretty much uh, the majority of the install. So now all we have to do is pull this wire off our charge converter and then put it, we're just going to throw it on the new 15 amp breaker. I like these uh, 11 in ones because they've got um, a, lot, a lot of options, but they also have these square, square drive um, as well. I'll link these in the description. Basically, um, I've replaced my whole screwdriver toolbox with this one screwdriver. So we'll uh, loosen up this 15 amp breaker. Okay, and we're done. So we're going to go ahead and label that breaker. And what we'll do is label this breaker specifically for the charge control so that when we are plugged into the inverter, we just flip it off and then we're not double trying to charge our batteries. 
as you can see, I just moved that wire right there. This is where the a wire originally was. It was on general. So make sure to go back and uh, redocument what this breaker goes to because last thing you'd want to do is forget that that goes to your charger and always have it turned off and wonder why your batteries are not charging. Also, if you decide to sell your trailer at a later date, the new owner will know what this breaker goes to. Now that we've got the breaker in, let's go ahead and um, put the panel back on, but we've got a little knockout right here to get rid of, so um, let's go ahead and cut that out. Some side cutters uh, will work just fine. It's already pre-notched, so all you have to do is, is uh, just hit it just a little bit. There we go. Break it off. Okay, so now we'll get the fuse panel back on. Make sure it clicks in on the other side. And uh, make sure it's all lined up well. Okay. And then we gotta switch back to Phillips. got my gloves on because I was working with some insulation so the magic of editing okay pop it back on and we're done with that and like always leave any questions down in the comments thanks for watching we'll see you next time